sense. Never waste a good crisis. And when it comes to the economic crisis, don't waste it when it, it can have a very positive impact. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. The way we're going to win over the long term is not just militarily. We've got to win over uh, hearts and minds. And what that means is we've got to invest in countries that uh, have no educational infrastructure, have no uh, means for young people to, to get ahead. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. Stay tuned for Politics and Religion. Well, an ex-Arafat aide has been found guilty in the Kareen A. case. I don't know whether you remember or not, but it's been a few years ago now that a ship was spotted cruising into the Red Sea. Israel boarded the ship. It was absolutely loaded with weapons, some 50 tons of explosive suicide belts, rockets designed to attack the nation of Israel. Now, the way this all started actually was American satellites picked up a transfer from an Iranian ship to this unmarked ship called the Kareen A., and then our satellites continued to track the ship as it made its way toward the Gaza Strip by way of the Red Sea. Well, once it arrived there, Israel was tipped off by us. They then boarded the ship, and um, Arafat denied having anything to do with it. However, there were people on the ship who had in their possessions checks written by Arafat's uh, financial aid, Mr. Fuad Shubaki. Listen to the story. An IDF military court in the West Bank has convicted Yasser Arafat's former financial aide, Fuad Shubaki, of illegal arms dealing, as well as organizing and financing the Kareen A weapons boat, which the IDF caught carrying advanced weaponry in the Red Sea as it was making its way to the Gaza Strip in 2002. Now, it was this incident that caused George Bush to cut off the lines of communication. Uh, Arafat had been the most frequent visitor to the White House during the Clinton administration. I believe he was there nine different times. In the Bush White House, zero times. No phone calls, as far as I know, uh, no communication, because what happened was this ship, Arafat claimed he was not involved in terrorism, and yet uh, when this boat came in, this was not some kind of a small deal. This was 50 tons of weaponry, and all the checks on board were signed by uh, Arafat's own treasurer, Mr. Shubaki. Uh, continuing on, Shubaki, who was arrested three years ago, was convicted of bankrolling terror attacks and providing funds for the Aqsa Martyrs Brigade's terror group during the second Intifada. According to the court, Shubaki coordinated the purchase and subsequent shipment of the arms from Iran and also channeled money from his office to Fatah terror cells in both cases acting on direct orders from then-Palestinian Authority Chairman Arafat. Now, this is coming out just yesterday in the news in the Jerusalem Post. So this is breaking news right now, and yet it's bound to have a ripple effect. When he was arrested, Shubaki told his Shin Bet, that's the Israeli security agency inter interrogators, that Arafat had diverted millions of dollars in international aid and taxes transferred to the Palestinian Authority by Israel to purchase large quantities of weapons and fund Palestinian terrorism. So, you know all this foreign aid we are sending to the Palestinians? Well, Arafat diverted that and used that to buy weapons to kill Jews. And furthermore, uh, the actual taxes, there's an agreement that Israel will collect taxes from the Palestinians because the Palestinians have no governmental setup to collect the taxes, and they will return these monies to the Palestinians. Well, the Palestinians took the money from Israelis and returned it to the 
Israelis in the forms of suicide belts and also rocket attacks and so on and so forth. Uh, finally, in the story, in 2001, Shabaki said Iran offered to assist the Palestinians in training soldiers, providing weapons, and funding the construction of weapons factories, one of the largest arms deals struck between Iran and the Palestinians was the attempt to smuggle over 50 tons of armaments aboard the Karine, A, which, of course, is what Mr. Shubaki was convicted of. In addition to the light weaponry used by the Palestinians at the time, Karine also carried Sager-guided anti-tank missiles used by Hezbollah against Israel armor in Lebanon. And many of the things is included. Now, what's this all mean? Well, right now, supposedly, Iran is totally peaceful uh, in its intentions, would never create a nuclear weapon. And yet this story appears now. Uh, obviously, Israel is going to say, wait a minute, this is no friend of ours. And will Israel attack Iran? We'll see. This has been an excerpt of End Time Ministries' daily talk radio show, Politics and Religion. To view the show in its entirety, visit endtime.com, click the radio tab on the left-hand side, choose the show, and click watch video. If your show does not appear in the recent broadcast, click the more broadcast tab at the bottom, and you can choose by date or show title. Be sure to catch our new television show, End of the Age, on Inspirational Network, August 4th. 